Hey everyone, welcome to another painting, Paint with Rick. Today I got a, a big canvas, 20 by 24. I didn't mention before, but when you're first learning, believe it or not, it's, it's easier to paint larger paintings uh, than small ones. So this is, uh, it, it takes more paint and bigger brushes. That's why I say get these chip brushes. You can cover a lot of paint up there. I'll try and uh, let me lay the sky in there blue and then we'll uh, I'll show you what we're going to do today. I got to get some linseed oil out. I already mixed uh, some blue and white together to make a light, a light blue in our sky. So we're going to have a mountain in here. So let's just bring our blue from about here all the way up to the top. If you don't lighten your blue up uh, out of the tube, it'll uh, it'll be a really dark blue, and you don't want that. Uh, the sky is never really that dark blue, you know, unless it's getting dark outside. Let's just cover up our upper portion with blue. You can see how quick that was. And uh, this canvas I bought, it had a little tear in it here, but maybe I'll do a video and show you how to repair if it's got a little tear in it. You don't have to throw it away. All right, we got our blue up here. I had to move the camera back a little more uh, just to get the, the canvas in the frame. So let's see if it's recording okay. Yeah, not bad. Now what I'm going to do with the same brush, I always keep a rag in my hand. I just wipe the blue off and I'm going to dip it in titanium white. It takes it off. You don't have to clean it with uh, turpentine. You don't need any turpentine for this technique, so I'm going to get some titanium white and just lighten up this lower part of the sky. Because if you ever look at the sky, it's, it's lighter at the horizon than it gets darker as you go up. So just lighten that up a bit. Just like that. Let's bring a little bit of it down. And because we're going to have a mountain right in here. So we want to have some kind of underpaint for our mountain. So we can lay our mountain right in here. Okay. Very good. So what we're going to have, let me lay, we're going to have a, it's going to be an easy one today. Uh, let me try and lay this out for you real quick. Get a fan brush. Uh, so we're going to have a mountain in here, right in the middle. And then uh, we're going to have uh, water down here. And we're going to have some land coming out here with uh, trees coming up here. Getting smaller as we come down here. Now we're going to have a foreground down here with uh, some couple big trees over here. And then water down here. So let's lay in our water with the same blue used in the sky here we know where our water is going to start now because I laid in that ground let's just put some water down here with uh, the same blue used in the sky just put it on uh, horizontal believe it or not this uh, 
This painting might go pretty quick, because uh, like I said, the bigger paintings are actually easier. But if this one does take longer, I might I might start making two part videos. Part one and part two. So they're not always like 30 minutes long. So right, there's our water. I'm gonna lighten up our water too back here right now. Alright. Let's do some clouds up there. I'm gonna do the clouds, uh, the fluffy clouds, so I'm gonna I push in the top part of the cloud. blend it. This top part of the cloud, if you've never seen my videos before, I'm just tapping in what would be the top part and then I'll pull it down and uh, blend it with a blender brush. Like that. Let's just start with those. I'll pull these down and shape my clouds and then I'll blend them in. It's an easy way to make clouds. It tends to work. So now when you have a, a big painting like this, it's easier to blend too. If I can find my blender brush, because you got more you got more space to uh, work your brush. So just lightly blend the lower portion of the clouds. You can actually shape the clouds and pull a little bit of the color if you want. When you blend this in, that's what makes it look soft and it, uh, and it appears to be a cloud after you blend it. Once you got it blended, you can stand back and look at it and see if you want any more clouds in there. Since I'm making a video, that's all I'm going to do. You guys can uh, add more to it if you want. <clears throat> Trying to find my knife to do my mountain. Uh, give me a second. Uh, misplaced my knife. I'd have to use a brush. There it is. All right, so now I'm going to shape this mountain in. Uh, I got to put some black down, sorry. Give me a second. Don't tune off yet. <laughs> See, yeah, I know some of you guys are enjoying these videos. So I keep the rag in my hand so I can just wipe the brushes off very quickly. Let's shape this mountain. Looks like it's going to be a pretty tall mountain. So. got this new app on uh, uh, iMovies, so 
it, it'll allow me to speed up the, the video. So I'll probably be doing some videos where I just paint and let it go really fast, but there won't be any uh, talking in it, which maybe some of you guys will like that better. All right, run some snow up there. a little bit of the sky color and white for my shade color here. I'm just going to pull it uh, left of where I put the snow up there. Mountains, uh, they're pretty fun. They take a little practice, but I think you'll get it. I'm trying to rush on this, so. different. <clears throat> Trying to find my blender brush, you know. A little unorganized today, but that's all right. <laughs> like I said, if the video takes too long, I'll make two of them. Cut it in two. down here. Very good. I'm going to lay my trees in with a chip brush. I got some different green here. I got a it's called greenish umber. And I put a little blue in it. Let's see what, what that does. I'm just going to put in my ground here. greenish umber with uh, blue. I'm going to try and put some evergreen trees in here. Getting smaller as it gets out to the middle here. Like 
Now with your fan brush, get a little bit of that same color here and come in here and put some tree tops up here. like that with the corner of your brush nothing fancy just these are far away so you don't have to get too detailed just indication of uh, evergreen trees there that looks cool when it's a big painting like this, I, I'm telling you, it's a lot easier so than a small one. Because for some reason, you, you can work the brushes better when it's bigger like this. Good. I'll put some land underneath those trees there. <clears throat> We're going to have a reflection in here, so but I want to do this side first over here. This side, uh, what I want to do I want to finish putting some color here. This blue is fine. Because I want to have something, I don't want to just run over white canvas. Although all, all this is going to end up getting covered with a, a big tree. So, all right, so with that same color, uh, push in some bushes down here. Let the brush make the top of the bushes. See that? Let the brush do the work. Like that. Doesn't that look cool? Looks like bushes, right? I got a number eight fan brush I want to use because I want a big evergreen tree here. <laughs> Huge. Uh, make sure I got enough paint here. I kind of like this color. It's uh, made by Utrecht, uh, Utrecht Greenish Umber. Okay, it, it looks really good. We'll find out when I put some white in there and highlight it to see how cool it looks. I think I kind of like it better than uh, sap green. Let's put a big tree right through that cloud there. Right down to there. Right, get your uh, linseed oil on your brush, get it wet with the, the paint and you could either push it on or swipe it on I'm gonna push push it on. I'm gonna keep this one skinny I'm gonna push my branches on pretty much just straight out okay take your time design your tree as you're coming down go slow if you go fast it, it'll it might mess you up just take your time just push the branches straight kind of straight out and we're going to get wide here at the bottom and we're also going to get thicker down here we want to fill it in more at the bottom The way I do it, I'll do my inner part here first, like this, and then I'll extend out 
uh, then I'll extend the branches out once I'm done and I know how long they need to be to match up with the tree so it's very easy just go slow you don't have to rush through it really fast that looks good I like that color wow let's see how it looks in the frame 20 minutes and it's a big painting so come in here and fill you know make the tree look fat by filling in a little bit more here when we uh, highlight it it'll really look good but there that's our dark we wanted a dark color for that tree I'm gonna put a small one right behind it I'm kind of running out of the color so I'm just gonna put a small one You only have to come down this far now, so this tree is going to be behind it. So that's why it's smaller, too. It's like getting further away. Put some points on here. All right, I like this uh, layout pretty good so far. Uh, what we need to do now is put this reflection in here. We're just about done. So We're going to use a chip brush for that. It'll go quicker to lay our color in here We already have the set the color on there that we have that's up there. So what you're going to do is mimic what's up here down here, so Maybe we should start here and work our way down to the bottom there, just like that. And then just fill this in. Fill it in with that color. It doesn't have to be dark. Just, just dark enough so we can blend it. Just like that. Okay, good. Now get your blender brush. <clears throat> Let's see how it looks in the frame. All right, very good. Now with your blender brush, come in here and start going back and forth like this, really, really lightly. Okay, just in the water. There you go, there's your reflection. Very easy. These big paintings, I'm telling you, are a lot better because you, you got more room to work. We'll put some a water line under here so you can see the shore and where it breaks it off. You just put a little white on your knife and put a water line there. And then you can take some more white don't put too much though just a little white out here on the water make sure you keep your knife straight and run some water i call it water because <laughs> uh, it's it makes it look like it's flowing okay just like that, just a little. Don't ruin your your nice uh, reflection, okay? Now with your your uh, blender brush, just lightly hit those, very lightly. Make sure you keep your brush horizontal, okay? Just like that. Let's finish up our bushes, and I'm going to run this one to an end here. I'm going to finish filling these bushes in here with the same color, that same green that we used for our trees. Just fill it in with some color here. Very good. 
get your uh, br uh, fan brush, whatever size you use. I use the number eight. So it's good to have all the sizes. I got from, I think, a number two up to a number eight. Uh, let's get a little bit of titanium white on your fan brush. Just a little. And we're going to highlight uh, the right side of this tree. Push it right in there. Right on the top of the branches. Don't cover all your dark though. Just push it on the top. Top parts of your branches. A little in the middle. Because sometimes the branches come straight out towards you. You don't need much white. Uh, you want it to blend with the green in there. So just use a very little white. Okay. You don't want it to look like snow. You want it to blend with the color underneath. Okay. Like here, this is green umber. If you put a little white here. See how it looks like a bush now? Just put a little on the top of these bushes. And you can, uh, it'll make it look like uh, bushes in there, okay? You don't need much white. Make sure you don't cover all this dark in here. like about that much make it look like bushes over here you gotta you're gonna hit on the right side just a little white here and there you don't have to put much on those they look cool back there I'm hitting where I think the light would be hitting uh, right like every other tree I'm doing. It just gives it a little bit of a, a better look back there. Alright guys, I kind of like that. I'm going to put a few birds up there. and I don't have a very good uh, liner brush again. <laughs> or else I'd put a bunch of twigs. Let's see if I can. Yeah. Put some twigs down there if you have a liner brush, okay? Put some twigs around your trees. I'm just going to do a few because it's not working very good. But we got to have some birds up in here. Alright guys, I kind of like that one for being big. Uh, only took 28 minutes, but it's easier to do, I'm telling you, so. Look how far I got to pull back just to get it in there. Alright, give that one a try. Look at that reflection, how good it came out. Give that one a try, and we'll see you on the next video. I got a, a cool idea coming up next, so stay tuned. Alright, we'll see you guys. Thanks for subscribing, too.